Let's talk about the distributed property because that sometimes confuses our kids. So let's do a couple of those. Um, let's do 2x or 2 and we're going to do the distributed property. So here's one. I've got, this says, two groups of x plus 3. So in this case, I've got two groups of x, x plus 3. So my first one is x plus 3. My next one is x plus 3. It's real important for our students to understand that it says two groups of x plus 3. Plus 3. Now, if I'm doing the distributive property and they're positive 3, I combine these like terms. I have 2x and 2 groups of 3 is 6. Now, these are not alike, so I can't combine them. So, this is how I like to do that. 2x plus 6. Let's do another one. Let's do um, three, three groups of 2x plus 1. Let's do three groups of 2x plus 1. So three groups of 2x plus 1. So one group 1, group 2, group 3. Ready? So 2x plus 1. Two X plus one again two X and remember they're positive plus one. Now do I have like terms? Well these all look alike and how many do I have of that? One, two, three, four, five, six. So I have six X and I have three now. So now I have six X plus three. These are not the same. They're not like terms. I can't combine them. But I've done the distributive property, and this is where you can get, you can talk about, okay, three groups of 2x was 6x. Three groups of 1 is 3. And so you begin to have those discussions. 